So this morning we're going to do a quick trip to Salt Lake City. We're going to transport this wheel loader. When I first started, I was afraid of loads like this because these trailers have all these articulating um, pivot points, which scared me. Uh, but now I'm comfortable, and you just have to make sure you don't have to back up. If you have to back up, it's over. But because it has so many multiple um, pivot points, you could actually turn around in a very, very small space. So let's begin this delivery. Heavy tar cargo, hill traverse. So we got some hilly and uneven terrain on this trip. But we've got the truck for it. What time is it? Oh, we gotta drive at night time. Dang it. So 10.53 p.m. Let's go get this cargo. You would think if you drive at night, there'd be less traffic, but the gang does not always take that into consideration. When they want to file you up by getting you surrounded by traffic to try to make you crash or to slow down your momentum by all of a sudden showing up when you know you need to change lanes. They'll do that in the middle of the night too. All right. So we got to go inside with lights on. Whoa. See that? Whoa. Almost hit that car there too. All right, Steve. We need to focus. See, look at all these cars coming when they know I got to turn right. This is 11 o'clock at night and they got all this traffic. won't be that exciting of a drive because you won't be able to see the surrounding landscape. So we'll be driving inside the truck. Okay. All right. So where are we? So it's around the corner up there. There's our load. back up here. Let's see how we do here. I'm going to touch the wall while we clear. Trailer up. Okay, 
put these little cinder things on both sides of the exit so they try to trip you up coming out of the yard. Okay, so we've got, oh, we only got 264 miles. Good. That shouldn't take that long. So we've got plenty of gas. We're all rested up. So we should arrive at 33. Oh, don't come out. Look at this. Do not come out on me. So we're set to arrive. At 3:38 a.m. way. Woo! Heavy load. 77,000 pounds. 78, basically 78,000 pounds. Made the light. Make sure there isn't anyone blocking the lane, the turning lane. So let's swing wide. Always get in the habit of swinging wide at all times. Watch the red light catch me. I got it floored. See? I didn't do that on purpose. What if we took this so much? driving. It's a heavy load and cars coming. We're clear. Now let's get this puppy up to speed. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to check the map. Let's check the map real quick. You do not want to miss an exit and have to turn around. So we're going to stay on Highway 15. So we're Highway 15 all the way to 
Salt Lake. So let's talk about our garage. I think I'm now up to 10, 11 if you count my own personal garage. So 10, which means that we have 50 drivers now. So I know I've got close to 50 drivers, 50 trucks. And then I'm trying to figure out how to optimize the use of the trailers. So since I'm training or developing all my drivers, oh, I need to get over here. And that car is right there. So I faked them like I was coming over to get them out the way. Then I can get over. Anyway, so I'm training my drivers to, to, to uh, do long haul. Um, but when I'm training, I have to determine which um, am I going to prioritize, high value cargo or distance. So since starting out, you can get points to build up your skill quickly at the beginning. So. Um, I've chosen to focus on long distance first because as you get more and more points you can go longer in a day without having to rest so if you can build up your distance then you can then go up for the high value okay let's see what they like to do too is when that's right we don't have any on ramp off ramp so we're fine so this is just going to be go down into one lane there you go construction what i really hate though is when they you travel you drive all the way and you get to the final exit or you have to take a turn onto the highway to get to your destination and they'll have a wreck or construction to divert you so that if you were cutting it too close on your delivery then forcing you to take a detour will end up making you be late so I hate it when you get all the way to the end of your trip and then all of a sudden they have a construction site that's going to divert you and when they divert you you're going to have to go away before you can turn around so you see the to the left there those wires that divide the highway so what I do is I look for a hole in those wires and then I just turn around through those wires I haven't seen one come up yet. And they do that so they can make you go the extra distance. So I've got my my foot on the pedal and it's all the way to the floor from the time I got onto the freeway and we're still only up to 65 miles an hour. Oh, okay, let me put it on cruise control. I just realized something. So there's two different types of delivery. There's delivery where you're using your truck and trailer where there's not a limit on the top end speed. And then there's another type of contract that limits the top speed to 65. 
and that is this contract here. So the fastest we can go is 65 miles an hour. So that's why I've had my foot on the pedal and it hasn't changed. Okay, what does that sign say? Burger King sign. There's a McDonald's. Let's get an external view. miles an hour. Well, I'm going 58, so I'm good. See, now that railing is gone, so if I needed to, I could turn around in that meridian there. Probably not at night time because you can't I can't really see the terrain, so I don't know if there's a dip or a hole there. So we're going downhill but we're maxed out at sixty six coasting downhill. So I'm waiting for them to add additional states so that I can expand my trucking empire. I guess I can keep opening up shops, but when I look at the map, it would not make logistic logistical sense to have garages so close together unless the garages specialize. So I guess I could open up a shop, but then give everybody um, a reefer trailer. Um, so that I can kind of restrict what they haul and understanding that those are going to be shorter routes so I can have my long distance heavy hauling and then I can do specialty shops that focus on other loads. I try to do that with Boise. Um, I bought Mack trucks and the big trailer, no, the wood, because I wanted to focus on the timber industry around Boise, but it really didn't work out that way. So I ended up um, just converting those to long haulers also. Heavy, heavy equipment. So now cash flow wise, I'm I think I'm making about three hundred thousand a day of positive cash flow. So the last the last week bought a new garage and upgraded that to five bays and then I bought five truck five new trucks and hired five new drivers and I did that in Casper Wyoming and then I located relocated um, no that's right I Open up a new garage in Las Vegas. Open a new garage in Las Vegas, and then I relocated all the drivers and the trucks from Casper, Wyoming, which I was using as my driver development center. Um, so I relocated all those drivers and trucks to Las Vegas, and then I bought five new trucks for the Casper Wyoming um, shop and they're not fully loaded up but I did give them the best engines and transmission 
but I did not upgrade the sleeper caps and all the other top amenities. They've got to prove themselves first with the short hauls. So do a bunch of short hauls, get your um, talent points to upgrade the distance that you can go in a day first. So we're working on that. And then once we get, see this truck's coming up and I can see these lights coming to cut me off from coming over. So I'm going to preempt them because they see that I'm coming up on slower traffic. And so then they then cut you off and come alongside of you so that you have to slow down. So I'm always looking for that when I'm coming up on, I'm catching up with traffic that I don't want them to block me in and make me slow down and lose my momentum, particularly with the, a load this heavy. All right, we're 80 miles out, about 80 miles out from our final destination in Salt Lake. trying to remember it. I do believe I do have a, a garage in Salt Lake. So if we do, we'll drop off the load and then go to that garage. Yeah, it's a little boring driving at night because like I said you can't see the scenery. close because now we're starting to get into the city here. Okay, about 20 miles out, 22 minutes to go on this trip. So, coming up to Salt Lake City. <coughs> and our off-ramp is up the hill. drive to a neighborhood and we're going to 
coming to this uh, industrial complex just on the other side of the neighborhood. It's like right in the middle of the neighborhood. Alright, we're gonna make this corner here. All right, so we've safely, without any tickets or wrecks, we delivered this load. $15,000. See what current jobs they have. Let's see, Washington, no too far, Stockton. Mexico, no, Utah, no, Twin Falls, no, 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 there we go, there's a load going back to St. George, so we got 13 hours to deliver that, so let's go ahead and book this so now we got a return trip but we'll trailer is ready we'll pick it up and then we'll there it is right there and then we'll proceed to the rest stop and that'll be it well actually well, let's just hook up here and that'll be it for today come back Ooh, I think I missed that tank uh, so when we come back we'll start our delivery during the day so we can now see coming back so okay that's it for today We'll see you next time.